What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons back with another great interview for you guys. Today I have a guy. Actually, I'm gonna read my interview. I was about, I'm gonna read my little questions here. Let me let me look at my intro because I made good notes this time. I want to make sure I read it right. All right. Today's guest is the owner of Arm Pro Cleaning Services, based out of Greenville, South Carolina. And I had to bring this guy on because he started his business and it's a successful business. He started it five months ago in June. And he did it with literally just one arm, okay? So I want to make sure that that's, that's, that's amazing. So without further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Rodney Manjeres. What's up, Rodney? What's up, Mr. AJ? Thank you for having me. I really do appreciate it. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, man. All right, cool. Well, start it off right. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from. Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids on property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, don't flash it for I'm on my grind, not no more. I'm like he said, I'm Mr. AJ. I'm Rodney Manjaris. I'm uh, actually I was born in New York, uh, uh, but raised in Puerto Rico. My father was in the military okay. uh, and then moved back to the States when I was a teenager, uh, went to high school, went to college in New York for a little bit, never finished, but then went back to Puerto Rico uh, to college over there. That's where I met my wife. And then we decided to move to Greenville through some family members. And I've been here since, uh, wow, I've been here 20, 20 plus years already. This is my, this is my new home now. All right. Yeah. You own now. <laughs> All, right. Yeah, that's cool, right. <laughs> All right. So why the cleaning business? All right. Because I mean, you could have done any other business in the world. Why the cleaning industry? I, the cleaning industry, well, first of all, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm very detailed and very clean and organized. That's just my personality. And I thought, you know, with this new trend of working from home, I started uh, brainstorming and said, what can I do? And I said, you know what? It's time to put a business, time to just not be afraid and just go for it. And the cleaning business uh, to start is the, the, the startup is so low. I mean, you can basically start with less than $500 and you're on. So that's why I decided, and this time I decided to just go for it and, you know, register my business, get insurance, uh, my website, things like that, and just okay. went for it, you know, and, and, and I think it's, I, the cleaning business is just, is just good investment, I think. Yeah, so. I agree 100%, obviously, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, definitely. Cool. <laughs> All right, man. So let me ask you this. Now, I know that you have a day job, so could you kind of share what you do and then also how you manage to balance the job and running the business? Yes, actually, I'm a, I'm a medical interpreter, a Spanish medical interpreter. You know, I translate for or interpret for, you know, doctors and nurses at, at a main hospital here in Greenville. And uh, I work from three to seven. And actually, I was working, I'm sorry, from seven to three. And then from three to six, I was working as an interpreter with another hospital decided to quit that job because I needed to focus on the cleaning business. So actually, when I come out of work at 3 p.m., immediately I take off and do one of the businesses that I already have. And then after that, I go out and try to find prospects, you know, just go in person, introduce myself. And that's the way I have gotten a few uh, a few contracts and a few cleaning business. That's what's up, man. And you know what? That right there was a huge lesson. I don't know if that, I want to make sure we slow that, slow that down and make sure somebody gets something from that. You switch jobs to focus on your business. So it's like, this is stuff that people, you have to be willing to do. Some of y'all are married to these jobs. Listen, if this job won't let you get off or the scheduling right, okay, we'll find a different job that'll, that'll work better for the business. All right, so that's a huge one there. Now we got to jump into this, Mr. Rodney. So if you don't mind sharing, and we don't have to share, but if you don't mind sharing, uh, could you let us know where you are in monthly revenue so far? Right now, I'm close to 3000 and in about maybe two more months, I'll be like around 5000 with uh, the ones, the business that I have lined up. So in, in less than six months, I'm excited. I'm already making 3000 almost, you know, I'm right there almost to 3000 and I have a, a few lined up already, so... Yeah, and, and that's amazing. So you, yeah, I would say you you basically on track. You're going to hit that six figure mark at seventy three three per month. You're going to hit that within your first year. I can tell already. Yes, yes, I'm excited, and and you know the key is to not be afraid. You know, at the beginning, I was very afraid to go out to business and the rejections and all that. 
I tell people, don't worry about it, man. Just go for it. I went to a business which I thought I would never get. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. Yeah. And that day, I already had it. Yeah. They tell me, can you start next week? And I'm like, sure, definitely. That's and what's that up, was up, you know, That's what's up. And you got to go out there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to rejections. You're going to get them no matter what. The rejections are, rejections are going to be there. Uh, but the key is that, you know, once they get to talk to you and, and you start having a conversation, the rest from there on and you know it's easy facts man i always tell people really you just got to go in there smile <laughs> you know what i mean be dressed smile. nice speak properly that's about it for the most part that's man. about it yeah. yeah yeah one and, of the, by one the of way the... Uh-huh. Oh, go ahead. I, I, I was just gonna say because i said 73 three to get the six figures i meant 83 three i want to make sure for anybody watching i'm like what do you mean 73 three 80 83 three i'm talking about eight thousand three hundred thirty dollars a month but anyway my bad what, what were you about to say Rodney? yeah uh, actually, uh, uh, you know, n- not, not to be afraid. I mean, and, and when I go out, uh, for example, when I finish the cleaning business uh, that I have after I come out of work, I go out and try to prospect uh, or, or try to get clients. But it's all about how you feel. You know, if I feel I'm kind of having a bad day, my, I feel like my energy is not there and, and what I'm going to reflect. I don't go those days. Yeah. <laughs> I just wait to have my energy. I have feel, I feel very positive because I'm afraid that they maybe they're going to look through that, you know. Right. So that's that's at least how I do it. When I feel confident, when I feel, you know, my energy is good, I'm very positive, I'm smiling, you know, uh, yeah. out of my heart, you know, I just go I, for it, man. I agree 100%. I tell people, too, like when they cold call, make sure you smile while you're on the phone because people can hear your smile, right? <laughs> that's right. Yes. Uh-huh. That's oh, correct. Absolutely. All right. So how about how much would you say you put into just starting the business? To start, I put maybe uh, less than five hundred dollars. I think it was uh, uh, something around there, just to register the business. Okay. Uh, it was a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, what else? The, the insurance uh, was. Their insurance is very cheap. You know, I yeah. paid like thirty something dollars a month for a, a million dollars of a coverage. Yep. Uh, and uh, and then the website was another maybe sixty dollars. I think. And that's what I pay on my website, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it was less than five hundred dollars, you know. Wow. Just to do how about all that. A, how about equipment? Equipment, yes. Equipment. Actually, I got the equipment. Actually, after I, I established the business and I was already ready to go, I opened my business account. I had business credit, so with that credit, I started. Once I knew I was gonna get an account. Uh, uh, you know, I bought the equipment like uh, mops, buckets, things like that, that, that you need, you know, right, the, right. the minimum that I need to do a certain business, you know, if I get another business and I need more equipment, then I go and do the gotcha. investment and, and go little by little. Gotcha. Now I have equipment on certain businesses and I just leave it there. Yep. So, That's what I always tell me because people are always like, well, how do I need, uh, a, a truck to start a cleaning business well, now because most of the time you just leave the equipment at the site anyway right so correct, correct. now i gotta jump into this i know this wasn't on my original question but anytime somebody says something interesting i gotta jump into that a little bit so yeah did you use business credit so did you basically get off with like a business credit card from your bank open, or did you take another route Actually, uh, I opened a business account uh, and they gave me a business credit. They told me you can apply for a credit. And that's how I got the credit. I had like $5,000 credit right there. And I was that, that was a big help because I was afraid, you know, I didn't want to uh, mix my personal, you know, uh, uh, income and mix it up with the business. So I started right away with a business credit. And, and that's the way I did it, you know, and little by little. So. I love that. I love that. You took no, no fear involved. Just jump right in and, and we're going to get it. That's what's yeah. up, man. So let's jump into your story a little bit more. So I have to ask. So exactly. Do you mind sharing with us what happened with your arm? Yeah, actually, when I was five years old, uh, uh, my, that was in Puerto Rico. My grandmother told me uh, uh, she was washing uh, her, the clothes yeah. and she told me, don't go out there to the washing machine because it's dangerous. Right. You know, you tell that for to a five year old. That's exactly what I did. So I went there. <laughs> right. I was a horrible kid, man. I was <laughs> I was bad. So I went in there. Uh, uh, I saw that it was in the fast cycle. I, yeah. It was funny how it was. You know, the circle that I was seeing in the middle, and I said, oh, "I'm going to open and put my arm in it." So I, I put my arm in it, 
and it got tangled with the sheets and the clothes and it just ripped it right off. Woo. Ripped it right off. I still stood up because I fell back. And then I walked towards my grandmother. Yeah. And when she saw me, oh my goodness, it was right. uh, all hell <laughs> broke you. loose. The neighbors jumped the fence and they got me to the hospital. And actually, when I got to the hospital, that's when I cried because they cut my shirt, which had a little mouse. Right. And that's when I started to cry, not even because of my arm. It was right. <laughs> wow. Oh, I was a kid. So that's an amazing yeah, story. I, so, so, uh, no, go ahead. I, I'm alive. I don't know how, but here yeah. I am. And, and that's why it's amazing, too, because it's like it definitely could have drug you with it. You know, you five years old. So you're a very small child. That machine definitely could have drug you with it if it wanted to. Right. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's amazing, man. And yeah. we blessed that still have you here to be that testimony, man. So I'm just grateful for that. So now I got to ask you, though, what allows you to keep this attitude that you have and stay motivated and, and not let that hold you back? You know what I mean? Like I, you told me you, you started working when you were 10 years old. So like what is pushing you? What's that drive that's inside of you? You know what? I don't know. Um, I, I actually since then I had to. When I was a kid, you know, I was very uh, fortunate to, for my mom not to help me. Yes. She never helped me to do anything. Right. My grandmother always wanted to, but my mom never wanted to. Yes. So I guess that helped me build the, 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 the courage for me to try and always put the effort and find a way of doing things. Yeah. So I guess that from there, I re de developed that attitude that there's always a way. So, yep. you know, I tie my shoes, I cut my nails, nobody cut my nails. And people always think, how do you do it? Uh, that's a secret. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, and then after that, when I was uh, younger, I said, wow, there's always a way of doing things. Yep. And I always had to uh, demonstrate to someone or anyone more than 200%, more than any regular person, so they can see that I have the ability to accomplish anything that any normal person can do. But I had to put more effort to it, you know, and that's the way I am, you know, everything I do, I give it 150, 200%. And if it's for someone to see that I can do it and they can see that I can do the job, then that's an opportunity for me. I can help you see that, yes, you, this guy can do this, man, it, yep. it, you know. So I had to do that. And all my life I've, I'm, I've been doing that and I'm still doing it. Right. You know what? It's crazy. I always say people help people who are helping themselves. And like, that's a prime example. You know what I mean? Like, and, and a lot of times too, you listen to a lot of these success stories and people say they come from poverty. They come from nothing. They had to work for everything they got. And it's just because of the same thing that you're talking about right now, Rodney, is when you have no way and you just got to figure it out, you will figure it out. You know what I mean? If you really want it bad enough, you'll figure it out. So I love that, man. Definitely. Yes. There's always a way, man. Never, never give up. That's, that's what I show my kids. I always show them never give up. There's always a way you've got to use your mouth, your teeth, your tongue to do something, do it. <laughs> Definitely. A hundred percent. All right. So jump into this. You touched on it a little bit, but I just want to circle back to it just to make sure we cover it good. Uh, so what has been your best way for getting customers? Would you say the best way is going out there uh, in person? Like I said, just, you know, uh, uh, trying to create a relationship with someone, you know, I'm, I'm going to this store that I go every single week and, and, and hey, man, how you doing? I even brought them a little uh, gift card for lunch. Yeah. You know, just trying. But I'm able to do it because I see that they're very nice. They accept me when I go and they say, hey, wait, Rodney, what's up? What's going on? You know, so I'm able to do that because I haven't been able to get in contact with the person who's really in charge, which I haven't been able to. But that's my way through, you know, little by little, you know, I try not to be too persistent, but I also don't want to die it out, you know. Right. So I just go out there all the time. Always, always. I visit business. I never have that fear of going in because if you don't, you're going to lose opportunities. A hundred percent. Actually, I lost an opportunity at a gym. It was a YMCA. And every day I would go by there because I go by there every single day. Right. And I always said, uh, I need to stop by there. Finally, when I went by, they told me, because I know the person that manages that place, they told me, Rodney, we just hired someone to clean and they start next week. Wow. Last opportunity just for being lazy and, and leaving it for later. 
Yep. Don't leave it for later. Do it right away. Don't don't waste time. You know, just go out there and do it. I agree 100 percent, man. I couldn't say it any better now. I want to know this. So do you have subcontractors or employees? And then also, like, how are you retaining these people to work for you and keeping them? Because I'm hearing so much right now that it's so hard to find good workers. So what is your strategy? Do you have them? And then how are you doing it? Actually, I don't have any workers right now. Okay. Uh, well, the workers are my family, my kids and my wife. They help me out when I need help. Uh, actually, right now, my daughter is going to go and do the gym that I'm supposed to do. But this is important, too. So she's going to help me clean the gym today. They know already the process. They know already what they need to do. And mostly what I tell them is, remember, it's about customer service. Always ask everything OK. You know, always follow up with them. If there's anything else you need, you know, because customer service is very important in this business, I think, and in any business. You can mess up once, twice, 10 times. But if they like that you're on top of it, that you're doing what you're supposed to do, they're going to keep you. Oh, man. So, you just said a word right there. I think I got to touch more on that in my YouTube videos, too, because that'll take you so far, man. Just going the extra mile, checking in with your, your, your customers, and most importantly, following up on those mistakes. The mistakes are going to happen, right? But oh, yeah, it's just definitely. like you know what I mean? But making sure that you actually deliver and go fix it immediately. And I love that, man. You, you, you nailed that one. I appreciate yes. that. All actually, right, my cool. wife and my daughter went and did a business on a Friday uh, because I had to do something else. They helped me out. And I sent my son, which is uh, he's the main, my main guy, my main boy. Uh, right. he, I sent him on Monday just to make sure that everything's good. Man, and they love that. They said, you guys are doing great. I love the service that you're giving us. So that extra extra step that I took just to follow up to make sure that everything was right, was good, man, they love that. A hundred percent, man. So you hear a lot of people talk about how family business never works, separate business from family. You're making it work. So how, like any, any advice on how you can make it work for somebody watching? Yeah, actually, you, you just have to have a conversation with your family. You know, I had my conversation with my family because at the beginning, this was a, a risk, you know, yeah. quitting my second job. I was very scared myself, but I said, you know what? No, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to explain to my family what's going on. My wife was scared. And I said, listen, we cannot be scared. We need to push through this. We'll make it. We're going to make this successful. And I want everybody to be in the positive in a in a uh, in a mind uh, in a mindset that is positive that this is gonna go forward, but I need your help. Right. And they agree. All right, Dad. My wife said, "Yeah, sure, we're gonna help him whatever we can." And you know, I think that's the main thing to have a conversation and find out if your family is gonna help you. And mine, at least, they have. And right. I think it's it's great to have that conversation if they want to be part of the business. Because if you're yeah. successful, your family's going to be su successful. Yep. Don't be afraid. A hundred percent, man. <laughs> All right, cool. So what's the long-term uh, goal for the cleaning company? Oh, man. My long-term, actually, I'm working on that every single day, uh, is to be able to quit my job and focus a hundred percent on my business. Uh, once I get it there, then I want to hire people. Uh, I want to pay people good. I've heard a lot of stories about a lot of cleaning companies, you know, and I know it's about economics, but sometimes I'm like, oh, come on, you paying $7 an hour, you know, I yeah. don't know, you're more an expert on that, uh, uh, but it depends on your accounts and all that, I understand that, but if you get a good account, I don't want to think that it's all for me, right. I want to I wanna be part of, of, of sharing what I have, and that's through providing opportunity for people that deserve or need an opportunity pay them good so I can retain them as employees yes. for them to do a good job and be proud of what they do. Like, like I feel proud of what I do. When I clean, I clean like it's my own place. So that's my goal, you know, and eventually just expand all the way to where you are so I can help you. hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, man. So for anybody watching this video right now, looking at us on YouTube, saying wow I can't, this guy did it man he's doing it i still don't know if i can do it what do you say to that person mr Roddy? man i'm telling you do it i don't care if it's cleaning i don't care if it's any other type of business mechanics whatever you can do so many things 
I waited too long to put my business. You know, I always been, like I said, an entrepreneur, maybe since I was a kid. Uh, I never noticed that I was, but I waited too long. And this is the time that I said we have, I had to lose this fear. So my, my main point is don't be afraid, do it. Because if you don't, you're never going to find out. If you make it or not, it's still an experience. You're going to gain knowledge. So you're going to be more wise uh, or wiser. Uh, it's all a learning experience. You know, just go out there and do it. Do it the right way from the beginning. And the rest is going to come, you know, of course, with hard work and sacrifice. And eventually you're going to get rewarded, man. There's nothing you cannot, that you can do that is not going to be rewarded at the end. So if you put hard work, uh, uh, consistent and be clear of what you want and be honest with yourself and your customers and you'll be good. I mean, but just lose that fear and go for it. You know, that's all I can say. Don't yeah. be afraid. If I can do it, I don't have one arm. Come right. on. And I deal with people and I, you know, sometimes people just say, I like this guy for whatever reason, you know, but it's not my arm. It's about my personality and, and, and how I project myself. So project well to your, to your, you know, to your customers or possible customers. Just have that, that, that uh, 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 humbleness also. Yeah. Uh, and, and just go and, and do it. You know, if I can do it, anybody can do it, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you got a, you got a, a contagious uh, attitude about you and a positive one is what I mean. And it's just a glow about you. And I'm telling you, man, you headed way to the top with the way you like you just get it. You know what I mean? You get thank it. Thank you. So, thank you. Absolutely. Well, let's have some little bit of fun a little bit. I want to jump into the lightning round. I'm yeah. gonna say a word or a phrase. You tell me the first thing that comes to mind when I say it. Oh man, all right. <laughs> all right, cool. First thing is South Carolina. Oh man, it's a great place to live. I, I love it. Like I said, this is my home, you know, Puerto Rico was my home. I was raised there and I love Puerto Rico, but this is my home now, man. Okay. Uh, there's so many things you can do. Nature, you know, the fishing, camping, you know, mountains, uh, restaurants all over the place, man. It's, it's just, I love the people. I love the, the, the Southerners over here with the Southern accent. I don't know <laughs> if I have one now, you know, I basically lived in Puerto Rico and New York uh, for many years. But yeah, I love it over here, man. It, it's great. The climate is great. So okay, yeah. all right. Next one, family. Oh, number one, family. Uh, for me and for many others, is always number one. If your family's not together, man, it's gonna be so hard. But uh, always work on on keeping your family together. Family's number one always. Everything I do is for my family, for my children. I don't care how old they are. If they're you know. 40 years old, everything that I do is for them also to leave something for them. Also for myself to grow as a person and as a professional. But, you know, th these are the things that keep me pushing forward. 100%. All right. Got to throw it back to this. Puerto Rico. Oh, oh, man. Puerto Rico is beautiful. If you want to visit, go to Puerto Rico. The food is, is great. I mean, you don't want to go to Puerto Rico, come over to my house, man. My, my, <laughs> my wife cooks some Puerto Rican food that you will die for. <laughs> I make some good coquito. It's like an eggnog, like it has a, a Bacardi in it with coconut. Okay. And it's great, man. And, and uh, yeah, Puerto Rico is wonderful to go visit. Uh, we have deserts. We have uh, uh, rainforest. We have a bioluminescent uh, bay over there that when you touch the water, it glows. Yeah. It's like extraterrestrial thing. Uh, it, it is beautiful to visit. So if you have a chance to visit Puerto Rico, visit visit cool cool all right cleaning business oh man this is the, the this is my baby here this is uh, what i'm trying to grow to grow uh, i'm working on it every day actually i'm working with a a, a marketing agency I'm, I'm trying to bring it up to the next level uh, in the future i'm just having the talks right now so i can create a, an even better website and marketing because i think marketing is it's one of the keys also uh, so I'm trying to do some little videos about my cleaning business and also uh, motivational videos that I'm trying to do on TikTok and YouTube. But I'm learning this stuff right now, man. I'm 53, so I'm yeah. just learning right now how to do all these things. So I love it. And I, I got a few it. followers. That they're very, very uh, 
a few followers that have said that, that they're very inspired. So that just, even if it's just one, I'm happy. Absolutely, man. That's what I said when I started too, and just posted every day. And then I look up here, we are tens of thousands later, but it, it yeah. all starts there though. You know what I mean? So definitely keep going. All right. Top five entrepreneurs all time. Oh man, you're one of the guys because I've seen you before I started the cleaning business. I was already seeing you. I don't know how you came up in my YouTube, <laughs> but right. you were there and I started seeing your videos and your videos and about cleaning and all your experiences, all that. Uh, entrepreneur Thank stuff. You. Yeah, man, that's great. You, you, you're part of all this thing that is going on. You know, I always think that people, no matter how short the interaction is, they influence your life in a certain way, whether it's positive yes. or negative, you know, it's going to give you a learning experience. You never know what made you click. Yeah. It may have been you. So, so I honest, I'm honestly saying that I honestly saw your videos and all that. And, and that's, as I saw more videos, uh, entrepreneurs and things like that, and the cleaning, that's, uh, yeah. that, that's a big thing. Appreciate uh, that. Uh, and I agree hundred percent on that point you made too. Every, like, I think we learn from every experience and they all, you know, whether it's five minutes or, or 50 years, they definitely have an imprint on your life. I agree. But all right, back to the top five entrepreneurs, my bad. <laughs> Man, entrepreneurs beside you. Uh, I like watching this guy. Uh, what's his name? Grant Cardone. Yeah. I love Grant. Yep. Oh man. He, he later on in the future, when I make, when we, when, when I'm, when I make this empire, I wanted to get into real estate. So, yeah. but that's something later on. Let's focus first on the cleaning stuff. But that's one of them. I like to listen to him. Uh, other entrepreneurs. Uh, wow, Ricky Regalado, I think it is. Good. Because I was going to recommend them to you. So, uh, yeah, Ricky's the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I have him on Facebook and all that. I, we, we interacted a little bit, you know, about his little programs that he's doing. So, yeah. Yep. And other ones, man, I don't have no one else. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's probably all you need anyway, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, let's see. Dream vacation. The what? Your dream vacation. Oh, man. Dream vacation would be, uh, I would love to go to Morocco. Okay. Okay. All right. I've never been out of the country, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> really? Oh, man. You need yeah. to go to Puerto Rico then. That's probably where I should start, right? <laughs> yes, Puerto Rico, St. Croix, St. Thomas. Yeah. Beautiful beaches. Oh, very nice. Got to. All right. Uh, favorite thing to do during your downtime? Oh, man. I never have a downtime. I'm always busy, man. I'm, 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 uh, let me see. Uh, I like to cut the grass. Uh, well, uh, when I'm not doing that, I like fishing. I like shooting. I like any, anything that has to do with nature. Yeah. And one of the, well, you need to know about this, but uh, one of the things that I love to do almost every year is go scuba diving. Okay. So I'm a certified okay. scuba diver too, you know, so. That's what's up, man. Wow. I, that's crazy. Man, <laughs> scuba diving is like, ah, uh, one of and the he, best things you can do. And here I am over here still not even knowing how to swim yet. I'm getting lessons this year, man. <laughs> right, Come on, man. I, I still can't even swim. All right. <laughs> you just deep diving everywhere. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Last one. Your favorite podcast, or right. or or genre of music, or what? Or your favorite music, like your favorite? Uh, oh artist. yeah, my favorite music. Ah uh, yeah, you're gonna make fun of me about this one. Uh, my favorite group music is Journey. Okay, so I don't know them. And Journey, uh, and uh, man, it's it's a rock band. Okay, okay. Like in the '80s, they were very famous. It's still going on, I think. Uh, Steve Perry, you know. Um, uh, the song song sure. comes to my mind right yeah. now. But... I, I probably heard it before. I'm sure I have. I know. Oh, yeah, I, I like a lot of those '80s bands. I do like that though. Yeah. All right, man. Like Thompson Twins. That's one of my ones right now on my playlist. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks, man. I appreciate you, Roddy, for coming on. You didn't have to do it, and uh, it was a pleasure. Please let us know how we can follow your journey on TikTok and anywhere else, YouTube as well, if you got one. Yeah, actually, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, you know what? I don't even know how to get people to go into and visit the little videos that I've done. I don't know how to do that yet. But the YouTube channel is called uh, Motivation and Readjustment to Life. Okay. 
All right. So it's cool. the motivational videos of little stuff that I do or have been doing or done around the house where I can do, I do stuff, with, you know, with one arm, of course. Uh, and also have a TikTok, uh, uh, TikTok, uh, what, what do you call it? Page? Page, I, I guess. Yeah. It's new I don't to know me. If you call it a page, <laughs> but it's called uh, uh, Mr. Rodney Manjaris on TikTok. Mr. Oh. Rodney Manjaris. That's the way they, I don't know who. I think they does it automatically. So <laughs> Mr. Rodney Manjaris on TikTok. So cool. So and, make and my sure. Website. Okay, what's the website? On pro www.onprocleaningservice.com. And on pro, I guess you know why I put on pro. Hey, you, that when I saw it in the uh, email you sent me and it said on pro cleaning, then you told me you had one hour. Oh, this guy's a genius, man. <laughs> Roll with it. You got to use everything to your advantage in business. That's man. right. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. Everybody, Mr. Rodney Manjaris, I appreciate you so much for coming on. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to, to, to networking with you going forward in the future, man. And everything. y'all make sure y'all go follow him. All right. Rodney Manjarez. Uh, find him on TikTok. Find his YouTube channel. What was the YouTube one more time for us? Uh, YouTube is Motivational and Readjustment to Life. Perfect, man. Motivational and Readjustment to Life. I'll see y'all over there. I'm going to go subscribe and follow him everywhere as well. Thank you, man. You have a good one. Man, it's been a pleasure. Take care. You have a good one, too.